Yeah, those living bones can't do a thing. <laughs> Kevin going late is definitely helpful yeah. right now. And him being right in the middle means that they can't really get into proper position to do much of anything. Mm -hmm. This has been quite the tricky encounter, but I think we're doing at least decent. Yeah. Yeah. She still has 22 health, which is not low, but we just have to keep pounding. Yeah, this is the crop. This is the correct thing to do with what we. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we're fine. Fun, fun. And it's gonna go in a mobilize, but that's okay. And you're muddled, but you mm -hmm. know what? It's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to hurt the bear a little bit, sorry. Okay. I think it's, yeah, if it's worth it, it's worth it's it. It's full, so you're good. You can stab her now, Kevin. I would stab her. A big stab. I mean, Actually, go ahead. It's not a big stab, but... Because <laughs> I literally was like, oh, well, I'm going to move like 30 spaces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Um, you can also do feedback loop and, and um, muddle a bunch of things before you move up and stab her. Or after. Mm -hmm. You can move up and then muddle a bunch of things. Actually, that's probably what you should do. Move in and stab and then muddle a bunch of things. Because they'll be muddled next round, if you do that. Uh oh. Oh, you do- Nice! 12. Wow. She's less than half- less than half left. That was an attack yeah, one. Kevin. <laughs> that was with an attack one. Well, yeah, it's- Oh, you've got your ram hat. Yeah, that's why I moved up one and then back three. So I mm. Yeah, good call, Kevin. Yeah. That was a great, uh, yeah, great move. Now you can muddle. Your boots might even be able to help you mud muddle more things if you want to use the boots to muddle more things. Yeah. Which is probably worth it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. Good stuff. That was a good move. Okay, and then I'm just going to move as much as I can. Because I did not anticipate.
Um, hopefully I don't die, but let's do it. Hopefully I don't die too. Also, did Sam skip, uh, get lost to the ether? Um, I don't know. Oh no, she's become discordant. Oh, we have a chance to kill her before, um... If you think you can, go for it. Take her out if you can. Yeah. Take her out now. I think Kevin should use that, yeah, and then use the burn to, like, get some heat off of him. Maybe one of the elites he can affect, yeah. Go for it, Kevin. If you get a times two, okay. I was gonna say, if you take a times two, you can take her out now. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, if you were able to get an elite. Actually, what are these guys doing? The elite is attacking two enemies. Maybe the Living Bones elite? Well, does it have enough range? He's gonna attack other enemies. Uh, so move two, yeah, you're right. Side. Yeah. It's gonna for yeah. force one normal elite enemy to range three to perform its turn this round as if it were as allies or enemies and enemies or allies. Yeah. So yeah, definitely worth it to get the heat off of him. Also, side question. Um, since Jacera is summoning, uh, would that mean that she summons friends for us then if we made her our friends? Well, no, he's not doing it on Jacera. No, 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 but, but if, he, if he had. I don't think it works on bosses. Oh. Because it's a boss, not an elite or a normal. Rip. Yeah. I can just reach her. Actually, I'm not going to use my eagle eye goggles. I'm going to use my eagle eye goggles for a bigger AoE. I did uh, one damage. All right, you just need to do five more damage to, to end this. I could potentially do five damage, actually. Potentially. Poison tube, Perfect. So. Ooh. That does add damage, I think. Yeah. I don't think what? the bear can do anything. Um. Yeah. No, I thought it would have moved, Ooh. but Ooh. it didn't move. Um, it's a bit of a bummer. It's too bad you can't command someone like me to attack her. Yeah, I went. Ooh, healing, yeah, healing or shielding is good too. Nothing get some gold. Yeah, I guess I could get some gold. Or tell it, yeah, I think you should get some gold. And you might as well just shield all yourself and 
summon allies. I mean, might as well in case one of the bones goes over and hits your bear. Uh, yeah. Well, because I thought it was going to move, but I forgot, like, if it doesn't move. Okay, I think Discord's back to normal, so I'm going to switch to my... Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, it's you have a chance at killing it. Chance. Chance, but if not, I think the next round will got her. I think. It doesn't look like she can teleport, so... Here we go. Go for it. Here we go. This is it. Yes! Woot! Good job. We did it, everybody. That poison helped a lot. Yeah, it really did. Do they get a turn? They do. But, yeah, but we're, we're, we're home free. Good job, everybody. Yeah, just take that damage. I guess you didn't need me to nuke anything. <laughs> it's your retirement, you know, you can just lay back. I'm not sure if I'm... I, I did get a lot of coins, I'm not sure if I got enough because I oh, did pay 14, 14 gold for the wedding. So, we'll see. I mean, I think it's going to cut it really close. Wow. Holy cow. Well, it's a good thing It's a good thing you brainwashed the other elite. Yeah. Oh yeah, he gets the minus one, minuses. What? And, oh yeah, he gets all the minuses. Yeah, the one that attacked you got a times two. Yeah, oh, my so oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just needed full health. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's frustrating. The whole time I was like, what are you Let's go. Mm. You couldn't burn anything else? There was nothing else you could burn? I, I didn't think it was going to attack three, so I just... Oh, would you have? I think even if you, but even if you like exhaust, well, yeah, because you had no mm. other cards left to burn at all. I don't think so, because I it's like two discards, and I only have one left. Oh, and then, then if I, guess I burned not. the one that I had up. Ugh, that's annoying. That's yeah. Oh my gosh, the whole yeah. thing you were so close. Right Yeah. Ugh. Was that a tour? Yeah. Two perk points? I think so, yeah. Oh. Okay. It feels bad. I feel like that was a one. Yeah. That's a one, but I could be wrong. It might be, I don't I don't remember. I thought I okay. thought you knew, that's why I was like, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I just need one more too. Mm. Yeah. It's all good. It's fine. You're it's okay. You got the really like important parts Jet out of the way already, corpses. so your deck the is already good. Fleeing her eyes, I. She whispers at you. You have no idea what's coming. With one more hack of your blade, oh. you separate her head from her body, and hastily leave the wretched place full of mangled corpses. Nice. All right, we're so sorry. close to all lining You're up. You're so close. All of us were so close to all getting one. Yeah, and um, the Mind Thief just needed to kill one more for everyone to get five kills as well. Yeah. Oh well. Everybody exit the dungeon. Also, I don't know if Sam's been talking or not, but oh, I've not no, heard. I'm, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> you return the head to the captain of the guard and are paid handsomely for the bounty on her. If you're interested, I may have some more work for you, he says grimly. First of all, we've had reports from northern scouts of sightings of a large, flying creature. They're afraid of dragons. He shakes his head in annoyance. I'd dragons. like you to head to the Northern Pass and investigate. Closer to home, however, there is some trouble brewing in the sewers below the sinking market. The wells in the area seem to be poisoned, and the sewers have become infested with snakes and sentient slimes, making for mm, more slimes. Ooh, 20 gold each. To discover the source of the poison. And we got Reputation and Prosperity. Oh, fantastic. We're now up to six, six Reputation. Mountain Pass. 
and the abandoned sewers in Gloomhaven. I'm very oh, close. You're so close. Oh, my Next time, goodness. it's okay. It was that it's vast, okay. too. <laughs> yeah. Pickles. Yeah. It was that V. It's okay. I'm good to, to, to continue on one more time. I but it looks, have to go to bed. <laughs> that's fine. Um, it looks like both Geode and Minx leveled up, which means you still get a perk point. You still get a perk, Kevin, for leveling up. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, that was really cool. The Jixera thing is interesting because if you actually allied with Jixera, then you would have the option. To, she works for the Merchant's Guild. So she, you would have had the option for the Merchant's Guild to take control of Gloomhaven. And I'm not really sure what that does, but it's it's pretty much like a permanent lasting effect on the game if you did that. Um, but I'm sure like there's other consequences for siding with her too. So, but yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot of different ways we could have like uh, took in, taken the Jixera, the whole Jixera thing. That's cool. Which I think is interesting. So. so you're saying the merchant is a necromancer, huh? Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah. So, how, uh, Sam, Antha, how do, what do you think about the uh, beast tyrant? Oh, I love it so much. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely yeah. a little bit to... of a learning curve, but it's it's good. By the end, it seemed like you knew what you were doing. Yeah. Like, you knew the right combo of cards to do to get what you wanted to have happen. So, good on you for learning it very quickly. I think it's just the AI pathing that kind of sucks, but... Yes, I agree. Now that we know... Um, wait! We plan. Wait, I have 200 gold. I have 212 gold. Yeah. Uh, why am I not retiring? Does it let you retire? It should say... Is it 200 gold collected from quests? Because maybe the... In your possession. But I have 212 gold in my possession. It says I have 192 gold. I'm... I don't know. Well, if you check under new mercenary, it has a little exclamation mark. No, it didn't actually unlock. That's really interesting. Huh. 200 gold in your possession. Is Do I have gold that's not in my possession? Well, whatever. The next time, the next mission, I'm going to. I could, you know what? I'm gonna s sell this axe. Ooh. Yeah. During your melee attack, targeting. Yeah, no. Why don't I do that right now and see what happens? So if I, because I'm not gonna. Oh, it cancels any event. Cancels any event. Whoops. I don't want to use that right now. Ooh. Personal quest completed. There we go. Hey. There we go. One of the mercy parties has completed his or her personal quest. The mercenary must retire before you can continue. Oh. Okay, I guess I did. Oh, Velvet Witch. I... Goodbye. Bye, Velvet Witch. Goodbye. Holy cow, that's a really powerful axe against undead. Yeah. What class did you unlock, or...? Same, you have to click so, the retirement button. Oh, you have to sorry. click it. Finally, the other mercenaries' desire of helping each other and avenging friends was starting to make you sick. Well, that and the stink of abandoned crypts. However, that reassuring jingling weight was worth it. Having plundered the city of everything you could, you leave Gloomhaven. This city will surely never see a mercenary so rich again. You're barely out of the gates before your mind starts racing with new schemes to make your purse even heavier. Maybe you should invest in a guild of your own. Velvet Witch has retired. Unlock the spears and we gain another prosperity, which I think means we get more discounts on the store. Ooh. Flame rewards. And the new class is... The Quartermaster. Whoa. Yeah, another tank. So he's not really a tank. So his spiel is he's basically a um he's all about equipment so i have the ability to let you refresh your used equipment so for example i can have kevin refresh his his like invisibility cloak for example among other things he is a melee support character who can do some soft tanking um but pretty much melee support is his, his whole deal um so I am going to go ahead and click on the Quartermaster. Skilled, he's a Valrath. Skilled Valrath Quartermasters are known for aiding adventuring parties and maximizing 
the effectiveness of their equipment. After all, what is a warrior without a good sword at his side? Um, I have health 10, 12 ability cards, starting perks 1, difficulty medium, melee damage and support, strengths, many items, many item refreshing abilities. So I am best when I have a party that has a lot of equipment, obviously. Moderate offensive and defensive capabilities, and I am a jack of all trades, so I'm, I have a similar feel to the Cragheart in that respect. Weakness, I'm a master of none. Weaker when party lacks good equipment, always packs too much luggage. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like so, you need that is pockets. my class. I'm going to call my, oh, gosh, what's a good name? I didn't think about the name. Um, I'm going to call him, you know what? That's a, that's a good, that's a good call. Uh, Samuel, I'm gonna call him Pockets. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Pockets. That's a cool name for him. All right, and then as for my personal quest, so I can, ooh, interesting. So I can either unlock the Eclipse or the Cthulhu, but Kevin's already unlocking the Cthulhu, so I can go for the Eclipse, which is the one that we want anyway. Um, so that is the Thin Places. I need to complete six side scenarios, which is really easy to do, because we've been getting a lot of side scenarios. The air is thin in Gloomhaven. Well, not the air exactly, but whatever is behind the air, like there is something on the other side, pressing and scratching to get out. This troubles you greatly. You've decided to travel to a number of locations in the surrounding area and study this phenomenon further. With luck, the air won't get, the air won't get any thinner. Complete six side scenarios, gain a prosperity, unlock the Eclipse, which I am going to choose as my personal quest. Um, yeah. Cool. Pockets. Pockets has joined the party. We had a Pickles and then we had a Pocket. <laughs> so, love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Cool. So I will, we will begin the next game with another new character and Kenna also was able to get half of her Retirement requirements complete as well because she helped me retire. So we're in good we're in a good spot. We're in a good place, everybody. Yeah. So So one thing I wanted to point out to you all um, is that uh, whenever you create a new character, for example when you retire, you don't necessarily start all the way at level one. Um, okay. because as you can see my um, new character, Pockets, he's actually at level two. And the reason right. for this is because of our um, prosperity, our Gloomhaven prosperity, which is now at two. So um, the higher the prosperity, then the higher level your um, new characters begin at. Which also makes sense thematically because if we're a guild and we're becoming more and more famous around the city, then more, I guess, skilled, uh, more higher qualified uh, guild members join the guild um, and not necessarily like level one. So I thought that was a really cool um, aspect in the game. Yeah. Um, that's why, I th and I think in the game you also get additional perks you get additional perks for every perk after level one which is what you normally get when you level is you always get a perk when you level but um at least in the board game you gain additional bonus perks um for every character that you personally have retired so that's wow. another like that's another like um incentive for retiring your characters is that future characters become that much more stronger. Um, I don't think the game does it quite the same way because the game doesn't really keep track of who controls which characters and retires them. Um, but just a little tidbit information. 